Hey everyone, I am Connor and welcome to my channel The Closet. If it's your first time here on my channel, I like to talk about all things luxury. So if that's something you're into, I would love it if you could hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified when I bring out new videos. And if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the resurgence of the bigger bags, okay? Big bags, they're coming back. And this comes right off the cuff of watching a majority of the fashion houses for winter 2023 um, men's shows. And I've watched Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Fendi, and Loewe. And I've noticed a little trend, and that is the big bags. They're back. No more tiny bags, okay? This, you, like these bags, you can actually fit the kitchen sink in there. So buckle up, let's get right into it. <laughs> Now, whether you've seen still shots from the fashion shows on Instagram, on social media, or you've watched the actual shows, you've probably noticed in the men's collections for fall winter that they have brought back a lot of larger size bags. And some of the brands have even taken uh, women's designs and made them a bit more slouchy in the men's collections, but oversized. Um, we'll see that with Gucci in a second, but definitely they're bringing back the big bags, okay? And I can't speak of what they're going to be doing with the women's collections. I would make the assumption that they would probably do half-half, um, but definitely bigger bags are coming back and I'm not mad about it. Now, let's start with Gucci. So uh, th this was the actual first uh, men's show that I'd actually watched. Um, normally I don't watch the fashion shows or I'll just skim through them and stop at the bags. <laughs> um, but the Gucci ones did catch my eye. So we're seeing big oversized but slouchy bags. Normally men's, they love to do it structure, structure, structure. This time we're getting some slouch. So uh, you can see here, this is obviously a, looks like a Boston or duffel bag, but it's very slouchy, no structure to it in a shiny um, Gucci Supreme canvas. Then we've got these kind of large hobo style bags in, um, looks like a Nappa leather, but very like boho, very casual, very big, um, but it's kind of suiting that aesthetic. And I think bringing them into winter, for winter was a good move because it goes with the kind of oversized relaxed looks of all the clothes that they're bringing in, but definitely this bigger trend is coming. Now, this uh, gentleman in this blue blazer is carrying uh, this, I think it's the same sort of bag from the first image, but it's in blue um, with these brown handles. Absolutely love this bag. I don't know what I'd use it for, where I'm going, who I am, but I need it. It's blue, it's slouchy, it's cute, and girl, I'm all here. Gucci, I'm here for it. Okay, I'm here for it. So, I love that. Next image, the exact same bag, but in this uh, green, not an acid green, um, more of a school uniform Australian green, I would call it, but nonetheless, very, very nice. Love it. Um, I believe this canvas is, like, I, I could be wrong, but it looks quite shiny. Um, I know Loewe have done this on some of their totes where they've actually used leather, but it looks like that kind of crumpled up distress, but really high shiny leather. Um, I don't think it would be that, but it reminds me of that. I'd say it's a canvas, but it's definitely not the traditional Supreme canvas you would see. Next, we have a very large um, red Dionysus bag. This is in a super slouchy, very casual kind of shoulder bag or handle bag, I guess you'd call it. Um, normally the Dionysus bag is in canvas and it's incredibly structured in the women's collection, but here, um, obviously they've made it quite novel, very oversized. The, the, uh, the, what's it called? The buckle emblem there is very big, a very smooth leather, but slouchy and yeah, see what you're doing there. All right. Next bag. I love this. This reminds me of like very New York, um, a Sup Gucci Supreme, big, big old knapsack kind of boho bag. Um, in with a brown leather um, on the handle. The, obviously the outfit's super casual, super relaxed, um, and this bag complements it really well. So I'm loving all these kind of big, big, big old bags. 
Next one in this kind of off-white cream color, um, same sort of vibe. It looks like it's in like a linen or it could be leather. I just can't tell from the photo, but it looks to me like a textile. Um, I probably would never get a bag in that color because it would have Milo on it in two minutes or coffee. Um, but nonetheless, there is this trending theme. But uh, my favorite, uh, my favorite bag and even outfit, the whole thing is this last image. Um, this kind of yellow oversized bag in croc, of course, I like the exotic one the most, um, on this gentleman in this super luxe, it's like silk or um, nylon, I guess, in this like tracksuit, but with these like 80s kind of boot sock things, the leg warmers with the Gucci shoes, like this guy, he does not take shit from no one. He collects $200 every time he passes go. And he, this whole thing's a vibe. Okay. Absolute vibe. So Gucci, you've done well. You have done well. Next from the Four Winter Men's Collection 2023 is from Loewe. Uh, it was quite quiet on the bag front in the runway show, but they did bring out their newest puzzle tote bag. Uh, this is a extra large tote. Um, it is very smushy, it's very relaxed, and in the model um, we see carrying it here, I believe that is the classic tan colour, which is their signature kind of main neutral colour. Um, they've also got one in like a nubuck or a, a suede, or like the underside of the leather. Um, really, really nice. And then a another one in a kind of, you know, beigey off-white, I'm not sure what it is. Um, but this is apparently inspired by Japanese origami and the bag can be folded up completely and laid completely flat um, due to kind of all the different angles of the bag or the way like the leather's been cut for it. Um, if you see it on the model photo, you can kind of see it's not like a square, it's almost like hexagon or rhombusy and it's all kind of, it's all very, it's all very all over there. Let's just say that, but definitely a cool kind of bag if you're into that. Bit too big for me. Um, I'm not really a fan of like the kind of squarey totes. I'm more like the rectangular ones, the north-south ones, um, but definitely cool if you're into that. And um, it's good to know that the Wave is still adding it to the puzzle family. Next, we have Louis Vuitton and normally Louis Vuitton with their men's shows, I must admit, they always kind of have a good balance between larger bags and then smaller bags. In this fashion show though, I did notice there was a bit more of a emphasis placed on the larger bags. So in this first image, they have got their new upcoming, um, what would you call it? It's like a mirror to gradient finish, then blended it in with the monogram canvas. I think this collection is gonna be incredibly popular, not just for the larger bags. I saw smaller bags as well, like mini keepals, that sort of thing. Um, but basically the handles are a high shiny silver, blends into like a oil sleek rainbow kind of effect and then back into the monogram canvas. Um, this bag is obviously quite large. I'm not sure. If it's an, a large Alma, I believe so. It looks like a big oversized Alma, but nonetheless, I think it's very cool. And even the clothes the, the models are wearing, like very oversized, but very kind of like cozy, um, very easy going sort of thing. Like that trench is really like, no worries. Moving on to the next bag. Yeah, this does look like an Alma. It's in like a black epi leather. It's got Louis Vuitton in white written on the side of it. Um, but yeah, very, very big bags. We haven't kind of seen this sort of, this kind of bag for a while, but I would say it's like a TGM Alma, but nonetheless, very, very cool. Next image, we've got another large sort of Oh, this one could be like a no way because it's I can see around the top um, it's got the drawstring, but it's obviously a different shape, but that kind of vibe. Definitely, it looks like they're kind of picking classic bags and putting them on steroids. Um, it's got a cute little luggage tag hanging from the side of there. Looks like epi leather, but a graphite, or it's got silver through it. Then uh, this gentleman, um, he's obviously wearing the envelope paper things all slotted into the jacket and the bag he's carrying this obviously looks like a classic runway piece uh, it's got paper and stuff hanging out the side of it but it's definitely a lot more of a larger size bag than you would see um, it looks like it is in empreinte or trillion leather with monogram embossed into it 
And then uh, it's got like a nylon strap with Louis Vuitton written on it, which we're still kind of seeing from a lot of the brands. I'm not mad about it. I love them. All right, next, this gentleman, he is wearing like the kind of camo print or their rendition of camo print for this season of Louis Vuitton. And then he's carrying a classic runway piece bag where it looks like it's got like a key clay hanging from the side and then another little S-lock bag thing, all on this kind of lopsided briefcase looking thing um, in silver, very runway. Not sure if these pieces will be, you know, on the shelf, but definitely cool nonetheless. Alrighty, next up is this guy in this kind of like Wolverine scratched out little ensemble. Um, all these clothes look really cozy and comfortable. I know <laughs> they're a bit oversized, but they look very like chill streetwear vibes. Um, he's carrying this large silver um, like hobo bag, I guess. And then on the front of it, it looks like it's got um, a smaller Louis Vuitton classic monogram like sack plat or something on front of it. They're all kind of, they're, it's trying to be quite industrial, I guess, or quite urban and have all these little bags attached to it. Pretty cool, but yeah, definitely a, a big, large hobo bag. And yeah, that's all I really took from the Louis Vuitton section, but definitely this trend of these large bags. There were a lot of smaller bags or um, the rendition of this collection then put onto smaller bags like the soft trunk and stuff like that but the trend of the larger bag did seem to be a lot more prominent in this collection and last we had fendi so fendi had a good balance between um the current season's take on their already existing existing bags like soft trunk baguette um mini peekaboo but then they've also um, amped up a lot of other bags. Um, the first one being, oh, they've, sorry, I've noticed that they've tried to make a lot of the bags to be quite, what's the word, like, you know, you can add lots of things onto it, like picnic, like a bag with the little picnic rug holder or water bottle holder or whatever. So in this first image, you can see the gentleman, he's carrying um, like one of their home, the Casa de Fendi homewares um, with the blanket on top of it. You can't quite see the bag. I think it's the, cash, the cashmere tote with the FF on it. I could be wrong, but they're trying to make them, you know, very big. <laughs> um, the gentleman next to him, it looks like he's carrying a large Fendi peekaboo um, with this new Zucker kind of leather print. Next up, we have this very large kind of hobo-esque bag style as well. Super relaxed. I believe it would be like a rectangle, but because it's so slouchy, it folds up in the middle. Kind of like Dale's soft trunk when she stuffs it full, how it kind of like crimples up in the middle. Um, but this looks... Um, you know, very oversized. It looks like it just has a hand, a hand holder strap thing on there. And I believe on the side of it, it just says Fendi Roma, all in the same color. And then next to him, there's this other gentleman in this big old puffer jacket. He's also carrying a kind of handheld larger size tote. Looks like it's in a Nappa leather or a very small grained pebbled leather. And it's just got Fendi written on the side of it. Alrighty, next up is this gentleman. He's wearing this brown leather jacket and then he's got a very large, uh, I think it might be the medium size peekaboo or the x Light. I'm not 100% sure they've got a lot of variations, but the design or the size of the bag isn't new, but the zippers on the side and everything is new and obviously the finish of the bag. Next, uh, this gentleman in the dark blue poncho, he's got a larger Fendi baguette with all the little pockets on it. Um, this reminds me of from the 25th anniversary of the baguette collection where they had the nylon pieces with all the little bags with the little pockets on the front. This reminds me of that, this one's all in leather. And that's about it that I got from the men's show. It was a lot of neutrals, a lot of greys, blacks. Um, they did have a few baguettes with like sequin embellishments. They did have um, the newer size. I think it's called the x Light of the mini peekaboo. Um, but, oh, and they also had the famous baguette, you know, runway piece, like an actual loaf of bread. Um, well, it's meant to look like a loaf of bread. <laughs> but... If you've watched all of those collections, you'll know that this oversized, large and like kind of floppy or kind of casual bag style seems to be coming back. Um, obviously, it is synonymous with winter. They always try to do this relaxed kind of look, but I think that this might be easing their way into bigger bags. Um, with regards to the women's shows, I think they've. All, I think now that we've had mini bags for so long, they're always going to be half half because people don't need to travel with a wallet anymore. You can have it all on your phone. So I think that are always going to kind of 
have a bit of both. Men's bags, who knows what they'll do with men's bags in the future, but I definitely do see this trend coming back. I love a big bag, I love a small bag, so I'm always happy to have both. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If you've noticed the trend as well, let me know in the comments. And if you've seen in more women-focused collections, if you've noticed other trends forming, also pop it down in the comments. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. If you like this video, I'd love it if you could give it the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.